Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to this uh, second part of a two-part uh, video where I've been applying the stencils and the last of the decals to the Zukimura BF109. Uh, and in this video, the second part, I'm going to be uh, finishing off the weathering wash and doing a bit of other weathering on the model. So for most of my aircraft, I use this for the wash, which is MIG Starship wash. It's MIG 1009. This is an enamel wash, which I like to do over acrylics. Uh, it's uh, much more controllable in that you could remove it completely if you wanted to using some uh, mineral spirits or uh, white spirit, as we call it in the UK. So it's very versatile and used uh, with a cotton bud. If you remove it with a cotton bud, uh, the buildup on the cotton bud means that you can move it around and use it to stain the panel lines as you want to. So I find it really versatile. So I've already done this side of the wing, the starboard wing on the underside. I'll show you the underside because it's easier to see the effect on the lighter blue colour. Uh, it's less pronounced on the top surfaces. And really, I just use a pin wash, so I don't uh, brush this wash all over the model. Uh, not to start with anyway, and I'll just apply it into the panel lines. So I'll do the outboard side of this port wing and see what effect we can get with it. So that's the Starship wash just decanted into one of my old contact lens holders, which comes in handy. And I've also got some mineral spirits or white spirit in the right hand container as well. So I'm just going to apply this very gently to the detail. As with all finishes, you've got to make sure that it's properly mixed. It does tend to settle and because it's so thin, you can uh, lose the effect a little bit. So I'm just applying it into the detail, nowhere else. The benefit of painting the main national insignia really comes to the fore when you're doing this because the panel line wash just drops straight into all that lovely detail. So make sure that it goes in. So that's all I'm going to do uh, at this stage. Just make sure that we've got wash in all the detail that we want to pick out. And I let that dry now completely. Uh, I know some people remove the wash straight away, but in my experience, that tends to just pull the wash out. And it's a bit of a waste of time, so I'll let that dry completely before I start to remove it and play around with it. So we'll uh, let that dry off and then uh, I'll come back and do the next steps. Okay so this has uh, had time to dry now and I'm going to start to work the wash off. So this is a dry cotton bud, there's nothing on it. 
if the wash is really stubborn then you can put a little bit of mineral spirits or white spirit on the cotton bud and that will clean it off a little bit easier. But it's useful just to get that wash onto the cotton bud because it starts to introduce some staining into the paint finish. So just clean up the crosses a little bit and that's just got a tiny amount of the white spirit in it and just going forward to back on the wing there just introduces some streaks into the paint finish. And because it's an enamel, you could just take that all off if you're not happy with it and start again. But uh, that's going to be okay once you get that under a coat of gloss varnish. That'll seal it in. And uh, we can go on to the next step. So I'll finish the rest of the airframe up in that same way. Uh, and then we'll add a little bit more in the way of streaking and marks onto the airframe. Okay, so you can play around with this wash for as much as you want to, really, till you're happy with the finish. Uh, I don't like to over-weather my models. Uh, so that's uh, just right for me, actually. I've uh, got a bit of streaking into the finish, a bit of staining. Uh, it shows up a lot more on the underside, so you have to be careful with the pale blue uh, not to overdo it. Uh, on the top, it's basically just uh, got the wash into the panel lines uh, and just a little bit of streaking. And then on top of that, we've got the uh, effect showing through of the uh, model that I did earlier on in the build. So uh, I'm happy with that. So what I want to do now is uh, get the inside of the undercarriage base painted the uh, radiator cowlings, the inside of those. These are all in RLM 02. I've also got the flat base to do. Uh, just tidy things up a little bit. Uh, I'll do the inside of the slap base as well. So uh, I'll get those masked off and we'll get some RLM 02 on. And uh, I think at that stage, I'll be ready for the top coat. All right, this is the RLM R2. So we'll just uh, blow that into the wheel wells.
Okay, so they'll uh, need a little bit of a weathering wash just to blend them in with the rest of the underside. Uh, but I'll do that once uh, the RLMO2 is dried a little bit. So I'll just uh, do the radiator bays as well. And uh, that'll be it, I think, for the RLMO2. Before the top coat goes on, I'm just going to apply a little bit of mud splashes on the underside. So I've already put some here behind the main wheels. Just using a sponge and uh, this is actually uh, an enamel flat earth. And I'm using an enamel at this stage because if I go too far with it, if I'm not happy with this effect, I can just wipe the enamel off with some thinners. So very gently, just some tiny little marks on the underside, particularly around the tail wheel. It might be difficult to see that because it's so slight, but I don't want to overdo that. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I don't want to do any more, make it any dirtier than that. Uh, I don't like to weather my models too much, so uh, I'm going to leave it there. So that's as much uh, as I wanted to do for this second of the two-part episode. Uh, I just need to give this a coat of matte varnish, give it its final finish. Uh, and then next time we can come along and put all the parts together and get the model finished off. Okay, so that's it. We're all done uh, for the second of this two-part episode. Got all the painting done, all the decals on, and I've actually applied a top coat of uh, Tamiya's lacquer flat uh, varnish on that now. So it's nice and protected. Uh, in the final part of the series, I'll build the prop, uh, get the canopy sorted out, and we'll do the last bits and pieces on the aeroplane uh, and get the thing finished. So that'll be premiered on Friday uh, at 8 o'clock. So I hope you can join me for that one to see the uh, finished model. So uh, in the meantime, look after yourselves, everybody. Stay safe and I'll see you in another couple of days time. Bye for now.